on LibertyFlames.com. Catching up with the skipper of the Liberty Flames baseball team, Jim Toman, this week. And uh, Coach, 9-1 and one to start the season. Obviously not happy with a loss on Tuesday, but you know you can't win them all. Uh, the guys uh, went out there and battled a pretty tough Old Dominion squad. Uh, where, did that one, uh, where did that one go wrong? Well, we didn't score enough runs. They had a pitcher on the mound that had really good numbers. We knew going in that he was a good pitcher. And I uh, put a two spot up on him, but then we let him off a couple a couple times and just didn't get enough hits, didn't string enough hits together. And uh, you got to give their guy all the credit. What made uh, Brandon Smith so tough? It looked like he was able to work both sides of the plate and had three pitches that he threw pretty well. Yeah, I had a good two-seamer running in on right-handers and uh, – was probably 86, 88 miles an hour, not overpowering, but, you know, sneaky fast. Had a decent breaking ball and a pretty good changeup. It was very difficult on left-handed hitters. And uh, he's going to probably be, I would think, one of Old Dominion's rotation guys when they get into conference play. Middle of the order goes a combined one for 11 in that game. How much did that hurt? That didn't help, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, we uh, know our five and six hole hitters went 0 for 8. So uh, when that happens, it's hard to win games. But uh, we threw three or four guys. Tim Dudley gave us a decent start. He got hit a little bit too much, kept the ball up in the zone a little bit too much. But he did, did a nice job. And uh, Dane Beekler came on, did really well for us. And J.J. Uh, J. McLeod looked okay. Uh, We've got to get Carter Browning back on track. He uh, was one of our most productive pitchers last year. And uh, he's sick a lot in the fall. He actually had the swine flu. I think he lost some weight and they lost some velocity on his fastball. So we're going to get him back in the bullpen and get him straightened out. You mentioned Dane Beekler's effort. Uh, how encouraging was that to see him go out there for multiple innings? And I think it was up around 30-some pitches that he was able to throw yesterday. Yeah, that's why we had to take him out. He's coming off surgery. He's a year and a half out, and uh, we've been limiting his pitches. But that was his best outing in about two years. He looked really good. He was throwing in the low 90s. And had a good breaking ball, so it was very encouraging. And a couple of days ago, uh, Dustin Umberger was uh, sitting on 90 as well, another guy coming off surgery. So uh, they're two veterans, and uh, it's very encouraging to have both them guys throw with that type of velocity already. You mentioned Dustin Umberger. What, what are, what's the timeline on him as far as getting him back in a rotation, or do you like using him out of the bullpen right now? Well, we're going to limit him to one time a week. Uh, we'll probably move him up to two or three innings, possibly this weekend against St. John's. And he's probably two or three weeks away from uh, getting a start. And if he gets a start, it'll be either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, or it could be middle of the week. If he pitches on the weekend, then that moves Keegan Linsa or Stephen Evans you know, to the midweek, which would be really good because that would be you know, a plus to have – guys that are throwing that well in the middle of the week. So we'll figure it out, but uh, Dustin's getting close to being able to start a game for us. Looking ahead to the weekend, a, a tough St. John's squad, uh, one that's perennially a contender in the, the Big East Conference. Uh, what does it mean to go out here and you know, try to get a couple, three wins even possibly against the St. John's club and just in terms of you know RPI and trying to stay in the run for a regional? Yeah, on, on paper, they're probably the best team that we're going to face uh, so far this year, they've done well. I think I want to say they're like seven and two or seven and three right now, and uh, got a lot of talent on that team. And they're usually in the regionals, so this will be a big test, probably the best test for us this year. And uh, we're looking forward to having that type of team in here at uh, Worthington Stadium. Coach, thanks a lot for the time. Good luck to you here this weekend, and I uh, look forward to catching up with you again next week. Okay, thanks a lot. Hopefully, we'll have some some more wins to report. Thanks a lot, Coach. Good.